Hello all and welcome back to another episode of Cupidity Opal and today we're going to be talking about the great Cupidity. So, as you would have noticed, there's all these different colours. So, green indicates that it's like Bulldog Shell, which you can find fragmented opal in, but it's not as good as pink. Pink means it's good sandstone, but when you go into this, this is a field, and that means there's really good sandstone and there's a high chance of you finding um, potch or good opal. So, that's what that means. And I'll be showing you some gems from a few of my favourite fields. Well, a few fields with mine. So first, we'll start with um, 8 Mile. So, here's a stone. It's a ripper of a gem, this one. It's got real bright green. The whole stone is green. Great. So that one's from the 8 Mile. 8 Mile is a great field because um, heaps of opals have been found there. Some of the best in the world, for example, Fire of Australia, that is one of the best, um, it's the best wire opal in the world, most valuable. That was here from the 8 Mile field, and there's some millions of dollars mined out of 8 Mile, which is really good. So, that's one of my favourite fields. And, secondly, we'll go to second place, we'll go to 5 Mile. So... This stone was in one of my recent videos. It was mined by my pop pa. And um fun fact about five mile, like not like the other fields where it's found in seam. Usually in five mile you come across um a bit of trace here and there, but then you find a pocket, so it's in pockets, not um seam leading up to it. So that's pretty cool. Um all different fields have different um, characteristics and stuff. So, um, then, um, best find so far of the um, our time mining at Vino. So, here's a, um, this was in my recent video, so all of you should recognise this stone. It's a ripper of a gem. Great colour in it. Pin fire, flashy, really, really nice stone. So all these stones here, these two stones, mined on a, this ridge here. Um, this indicates a hill, and we mined all around the hill. There wasn't really much, but um, once we started digging into the middle of the hill, um, got um, we started to get colour. Then we dug around the whole edge of the hill, but then we'll just the traces were running out. So, and we didn't want to risk it taking such a it would be such a big job job to take off this whole hill. So we decided just to leave it. Because we didn't think there was much colour in there anyway. But these two stones. Two of my best stones. That's what we came out with. And I'm very happy with those two. So another thing about Vino. Is this stuff tends to crack after a while. Because this field. Um, the sandstone is moist. So um, the stones are moist. So when you polish them. They're not in water, well, moist ground, so they tend to crack because they're used to the water. But down here at 8 Mile, Geraldine Hill, um, the ground is, but the sandstone is much dry, so the stones tend to last a lot longer. And 5 Mile, that's why down here is one of the best places to, a few of the best fields around this area here, because that's because the stones, they, um, they're in dry ground, so they are used to not being um, in water, so they last a lot longer. So up here, it's a bit more, um, the ground's a bit more moist, so they tend to crack a bit easier. But luckily enough, my stones haven't cracked yet, so I'm really happy with that. And I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Coopedia Opal. And hopefully you learned a lot of information about Coopedia and its different fields.